The team in Ukraine is working day and night to facilitate the alia of thousands of Alim. This is Alia News. Every day, thousands of Ukrainians cross the border into neighboring countries. And daily, hundreds of Jewish refugees who are among them are held by Ibiza in Ukraine and across the border. In addition to the Elim, the families of Ibiza team members are seeking refuge too. The family of Vadim, the team leader in Ukraine, has recently made it across the border. This is the story of their flight. <laughs> February 2022, war breaks out in Ukraine. Vadim and Natasha's family have to leave Kyiv and go into hiding in a nearby village. After 10 days of being surrounded by the military, they find a way to escape. They arrive at a base near Lviv, serving as a collection point for a limb. Not a minute goes by in which Yanya's phone doesn't ring. The team in Ukraine is working tirelessly. Weekends, days off and closing times are a thing of the past. She receives countless phone calls from people seeking help and arranges the next steps. Vadim and two other drivers collect people who have reached out for help and bring them to the base near Lviv. Here they are given supplies and shelter until they can eventually get on one of the buses that will drive them to the border to neighboring countries or straight to Warsaw, a central point of departure to Israel. Babies and young children, elderly and vulnerable people who rely on special support. People in all stages of life are being helped. Among them is a 96-year-old woman who is making Alia all by herself. For some, getting on a bus is a sign of hope and a step towards safety. For others, it means heartbreak. Husbands and fathers have to say goodbye to their loved ones as they watch them leave. But for all, getting on the bus is difficult. People have had to pack their bags in a hurry, without much time to think about what they will need to bring with them, leaving behind valued possessions, pets, friends and family, their homes. Will we see our house again? Will life ever be the way it used to? It is unclear for how long these questions may remain unanswered. After a few days at the center, Natasha, her mother and the two younger sons get on one of the buses that will cross the border to Poland. Vadim and the eldest son have to stay behind. The family has a very long bus journey ahead of them. There are very large queues of cars, buses, and people who are arriving on foot. So many people uh, with pain in his eyes and uh, crying and um, like with big eyes from this terrible situation. After a waiting time of 19 hours, Natasha and her family can finally cross the border and they arrive at the Hotel for a Limb in Poland. Now, Christians in Germany are caring for the family, as well as the families of the two other Ibiza drivers, until hopefully soon they can be reunited again as a family. And thank you very much for, to everybody for your prayer, prayers and, and everything, for your open heart for Ukrainian people, for, uh, for us. Thank you. The airspace in Moldova was closed to all flights in response to the outbreak of the war in Ukraine. However, last week, a special flight from Moldova to Tel Aviv took place and 153 Olim, most of them being refugees from Ukraine, alongside several Moldovian families, made Alia. The team in Moldova provided shelter for the Jewish refugees, drove them to the Israeli consulate daily and provided buses to transport Olim and their luggage to the airport. The employees at the consulate in Kishina work every day, including on the Sabbath, as hundreds of potential Olim arrive there daily. This Aliyah flight was truly miraculous. Purim is celebrated on the 14th of the Hebrew month of Adar. This year it begins on the evening of the 16th of March. We learn about Purim in the Biblical Book of Esther. 
It commemorates the salvation of the Jewish people in the ancient Persian Empire from a man called Haman and his plot to kill the Jews. Esther, the Queen of Persia, was a Jew, but she hid her Jewish identity from her husband, the king. Haman, one of the king's officials, hated the Jews, and Esther's uncle Mordecai's refusal to bow down to him provoked Haman to plot to kill every Jew. He drew lots to decide on a date on which their destruction would take place. If someone approached the king without permission, they would be put to death. Esther, however, was brave and risked her life to tell her husband that she was a Jew and that Haman had planned to destroy her people. The king listened to his wife and eventually Haman was put to death and the Jewish people were saved. Purim means lots in ancient Persian and gets its name from the lots that Haman had thrown to decide on a day on which the Jews should be attacked and destroyed. Today, this lively and cheerful holiday is celebrated by reading the story of Esther in synagogues, dressing up, eating and drinking, and giving gifts. In the story of Esther, God used the bravery of a single woman to rescue the Jewish people and he would repeat a similar pattern later in history. For example, during the Holocaust, the Lord used Corrie ten Boom and her family, who put their own lives at risk by hiding Jews in their house. They acted in obedience to the God of Israel in whom they trusted. During lockdown last year, Christians across Europe celebrated Purim online. They read the story of Esther as is done in synagogues and baked traditional jam-filled pastries called Hamantaschen, named after Haman, who failed in his attempt to defeat the Jews. In the same year as the Zoom event took place, Ibaniza supported a group of children from Ethiopia who had recently arrived in Israel by helping the Jewish agency who organized the event to provide costumes for their first ever Purim party in the land ultimately helping them connect with their Jewish traditions and feel welcomed in their new home. Finding refuge has suddenly gained a whole new meaning for millions of people. We know that ultimately it is the God of Israel who gives us true refuge, even in the midst of a crisis and so much uncertainty. In Psalm 91 we read, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. If you would like to volunteer, please get in touch via our website. Please pray for the team in Ukraine who are serving faithfully day and night. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Alia from Ukraine and worldwide.